The one woman who occupied Hilda's attention more than most was her next door neighbor at number 11, Elsie Tanner. Her life seemed full of glamor and drama. She had everything that Hilda didn't. Although, of course, Hilda would never admit it. Oh, very nice. Oh, I'm glad you approve. Mind, it's not everybody's cup of tea. No? Oh, nothing personal, of course. Of course. No, but it's, uh, well, it's not in keeping, is it? In keeping with what? This street. Like trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Oh, no, I agree with Stan, you know, you might as well keep your money in the bank. I mean, as for installing folder rolls like pink the... bathroom suites. Yeah, well, like I said, everybody to his taste. Do you know, Ella, that's the first sensible thing you've said yet. This is to my taste, and I see nothing wrong in making the place where you live look nicer if you can. Ah, oh, well, you wasn't always of that persuasion, though, was you? I can remember when this place was like a... Like a what? Well, um, shabby, shall we say? Well, it's not shabby now. And might I add, it's a darn sight better than a lot of middens round this street. I hope you're not referring to mine. If the cap fits, wear it. What about all them alterations my stand did last year? What alterations? Well, like, uh, like a serving hatch. Serving hatch that was a flaming barn door. Yeah, and that's not a flipping bath. It's phonographic, is that? Well, at least I won't be keeping coal in it, will I? No, you'll be keeping some grimier than coal in it. Yourself. Hilda enjoyed a long-running feud with Elsie and relished their endless clashes. She said she disliked Elsie's values, the loose morals, the affairs. But really, she resented the way Elsie drifted through her life with a string of men who provided for her. Hilda had to fend for herself, lumbered with an idle husband who would do anything but work. It's only a couple of quid for the weekend. Ten. There were sixteen. Just a weekend. Oh, you thieving, great, rotten lump. Are we going to put it back? Liar. Listen to Dirty, me. Dirty, rotten, stinking liar. Elder. Shut up. Oh, where did I ever get you from? Uh, fell over you, didn't I, in blackout? <sighs> Should have left you there, pigging your own swill. Because what have you ever brought me, eh? Nothing. Elder. Nothing. Oh, a couple of kids, yeah. Yeah, we mustn't forget them, I suppose. One of us doesn't know we're alive. And the other one, what, looks down his nose at us because he thinks we're muck. And you know what, Stanley? He's right, isn't he? Because that's just what we are, muck. It's not as bad as that. Oh, of course it is. You and your glass back, her up at Inkerman Street. Everybody out there laughing at us. Oh, you want a good laugh? Go and find Stanley Ogden. Oh, and don't miss her what's with him, her in the red rotten mac. Oh. Don't you understand? I'm sick of being walked on. I'm sick of being the mug round here. And I'm sick of you. Hilda considered herself to be an expert on the subject of marriage. If hers wasn't necessarily the happiest marriage on Coronation Street, it was certainly the longest. Although it seemed to be based on irritating each other, both Hilda and Stan still felt Plenty of affection, which, though well hidden, sometimes shone through. Do you really think I look smashing? I said so, didn't I? Well, I feel smashing. <laughs> Don't you? I feel all right, that. Eh? Well, give us a kiss, then. Hey. You heard? Come on, you daft diaper. It is the second honeymoon, you know, not the first. Although, as I remember, you wasn't all that backward at coming forward then. What's that lipstick taste of? Woman, Stanley. Woman! <laughs> While life with Stan was never easy, Hilda couldn't contemplate life without him. And when the unthinkable finally happened, it was a source of great guilt that he passed away in hospital without her at his side. And it was here, in the silence of the home that she had shared with Stan for 20 years, she realised that she was now alone. All she had left was a parcel of memories.
life for Hilda was never the same after Sam's death. And when three years later she decided to leave the street, her friends and neighbours realised someone very special would be going away. For 23 years, Hilda had poked and pried into the goings-on in Coronation Street. And although she had often infuriated and irritated, it was ultimately with affection that she would be remembered. Hilda, of course, couldn't let the occasion go by without resorting to a song in the Rovers. <laughs> Oh!